That year, there was, if I remember correctly, it was 842 people in town. And I saw a city limit sign the other day, it said 15,010. So it's uh, bigger, a whole lot bigger. <laughs> We had approximately, I'm gonna say we had 25 people. We uh, probably 20 because we didn't have enough to go both. We had to go both ways. We couldn't yeah. have enough for an offense and a defense like they do nowadays. Oh yeah, I, I remember it well. Uh, it was uh, it was thrilling for us. I mean, you know, we had, had an old grass field at the time and no, none of this nice turf and everything, and it was just you know down and dirty. Get in the trenches and, and make it happen. Coach Parr was here last year, and they went 7-3, which is the best record we'd had in a while. But to go to the games and watch the boys play and watch the enthusiasm they play with and the want to, and, and you know, they, they, they're there because they want to play, and uh, the condition they were in, they could go the whole game and, and still not. I mean, they'd be tired, but not like tired, tired, you know, because they only played one way. And uh, it was just a thrill for me. And, of course, to watch my grandson play, too, you know, it, it made it that much better. There was a couple of the boys that played from the time they were seven till they till this year, and uh, and Cooper Mosier was one of them, and Jerry Root, and there's you know seeing pictures from back then, and remember going to those games, and watching them, you know, kind of comical stumble through their stuff, and to watch them steadily progress over the past eight years has just been magical. Well, it means a lot to me because. Whenever I was even in peewee football, all we've heard about is how good Salina is and how Salina is just supposed to be the best thing ever. And honestly, I just got kind of tired of it. Well, I was just excited to play them because I've never really got to play them in high school. Like my freshman year, watching my brother play them and it did not really go over well. And I knew that they were going to be a tough team, but I was excited to play them and I was ready. I mean, I knew it was going to be tough. They're a really good program. They've been good for a long time. And I know that they've always beat us in the past, but knowing that we're a completely different team and kind of like all our strengths and weaknesses, I knew that we'd be able to beat them and give them a really good fight. I like to go out there and know that whenever I'm playing, I'm not just playing for myself, but I'm playing for the town that I've grown up in my whole life. Well, I thought that we were moving the ball really well, and I think we stopped them. There's some third down and longs that they came in that, you know, I thought they uh, they made a play and we had a chance to. So they had a, a good amount of breaks. I thought we moved the ball, and I think we fumbled at the one-yard line, and then we fumbled again driving, and I just told the guys just calm down. Um, I think uh, once it all levels out, you know, go down and score right coming out of halftime and we're in the football game and I felt really pretty good about it. I think they kind of proved to themselves through that first half even though the score didn't indicate that they could they could play with play with Salina. Honestly, uh, I felt like we were playing pretty well even though the scoreboard didn't reflect it. We just had some turnovers, some costly mistakes, but obviously we picked it up the second half. Snap, quarterback looking, throws it underneath Street to pass. Emmers. Emmers got some blockers. Emmers up the middle. Emmers to the sideline. Emmers goes to the sideline. Yeah, yeah. There he goes. 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 You know, this game right here was really important to us. Me, I've grown up in Anna my entire life, never seen it happen. I mean, last time we played them was my freshman year. We barely even scored in the first half. We scored zero points, I'm pretty sure, that game. But, you know, coming out here and beating this good Salina team proves that we're the even better team. We had all these mistakes and we're still able to overcome and beat them. Uh, this means that we, we uh, beat Salina in the first time in like 50 years. It's awesome. I'm glad we, we did it for the, for the guys, the old guys that did it a long time ago. 
Uh, I think we wanted to win so bad. Sometimes anxiety rises and uh, can't play with good uh, with high anxiety. And um, I think that was probably the case. And once we calmed down, I think we were good. Made me feel proud inside, that's for sure. And then when they came back and beat them the second time, it was just like, there's no stopping this team. They are, they are just that devoted. They got that high for that, for that, uh, for that game, just, just for us old timers. <laughs> Yeah, it makes me a lot more happy that we got to play them a second time and really show them that it wasn't just luck because they were trying to say that, oh, we just had a bad first half and that's the only reason why y'all won. But really, we just proved to them that we were the better team. As hard as they worked, I wanted them to do well, and, and they did. I mean, the best season this town's ever had. And, and the school's ever had, and it's just, uh, it's a real thrill to watch them play. Community and alumni, we could not be proud of what y'all have done.